Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am playing with the cutest die set ever. This is the Happy Snowman die set and I'm creating a slimline surprise card that fits in a slimline envelope box with a window in it and holds a bar of chocolate too. <laughs> so much fun. This is the Happy Snowman die set from Trinity Stamps. It creates a slimline snowman or an A2 size snowman. This is the slimline surprise die set that we'll be using to make my card. So this is the main panel of the slimline surprise die I said it cuts out this piece right here and it has this flap in the center that you fold on the score lines that the die creates for you so that you can have an interactive mechanism that you pull back and it reveals a surprise underneath. This is the piece that will die cut the mechanism. So I had an eight and a half by three and a half inch piece of paper that I used this mechanism die on and uh, it only cuts on three sides. So you want to put the open end at the edge of the paper. And now I am putting some one eighth of an inch score tape all around the edge of my die and uh, one fourth of an inch score tape at the bottom flap of this mechanism. And you can see it creates a channel for that mechanism to move. I'm just lining up the top edge with the top edge on both pieces and sticking that down to my mechanism. All right, now I'm using this rip strip die that comes with the surprise die set. It is all the way, gonna go all the way across this slimline card, but you can see it has a little tab and then you can rip the card open to get out what's inside. There's also a smaller piece that can go the other way or for a smaller card. So I'll set those pieces aside, come back to them later. I just felt like it was time to build my snowman. So I'm die cutting out all the pieces that I want for him using red and black, brown for his arms, and of course white for these snowman pieces. Now if you only use two of those pieces, you could make a shorter snowman. And now I'm gonna take the scarf piece and glue it down to a piece of green cardstock so I can make a red and green scarf. I just thought that would be super cute. While that's drying, I'm gonna take my C2 marker, cool gray, and make a little shadow around the edge of each of these circles so that it will have more dimension. And then I can go ahead and cut out my scarf, just trimming away all the excess that I don't need. And now I have a scarf that is two different colors. You could also do paper piecing with this. Um, I decided just to add a little bit of shadowing with my G05 marker because I had already added Copic coloring to the snowman body. So I thought maybe that would look good and just be a different way that you could use this die. So I'll go all around each of those, being really careful not to get my marker onto the red part. And I'll set that aside. Now this is one of the tiny tags that Trinity Stamps gave away last month for their Tags of Appreciation. So you may have got this. If you did not, it's not available anymore, but you could really have your snowman hold anything. So shop your stash, find a present or a candy cane or a coffee cup stamp, anything that you have on hand, you could have this snowman hold. Now I'm bringing out um, the Christmas Magic Slimline stamp set, pulling off all those snowflakes to use to stamp a background on this black cardstock with white ink. And I think it just is so fabulous that there's so many snowflakes in that stamp set. I have used them already once without even using the Santa sleigh part. All right, now when I'm gluing down the snowman, I want to make sure the bottom circle of the snowman is above that score line and then I'm only gluing the snowman down to the card base below that middle score line so that when I move this mechanism my snowman is not going to interfere with it being able to move. So I'm just using liquid glue to adhere all the things that way I can scoot them around where I want and move them. And here's my little carrot nose. There's actually two carrot nose noses in this die set so you can have a smaller one like I used here or a bigger one and then you can see I'm using the bent arms from this set so he can hold his little cup of coffee there are also straight arms that you can use as well so he is just darling I love this die set so much now I'm going to bring in my white gel pen and add some white highlights to all these die cut things and I love using my white gel pen so sometimes I feel like maybe I go a little bit 
overboard with the white highlighting. I don't know, but I just feel like it really helps bring the image to life. So I'm actually going to bring it back and use it more even later. All right, so now I have some sentiments from greetings of the season. I have one that says Merry Christmas. My other one says have a cup of cheer, which is what I thought would be perfect for this card. So I'll stamp those on some red cardstock and emboss them with white embossing powder. I'll melt that powder with my heat gun. And once that is cooled a little bit, I'll bring in this stitched banner from the Slimline Scalloped Stitched die set, I believe. I'll have it linked for you below in case I got the name wrong. But you can see I just partially die cut it. So I had a flat edge on one end on the left hand side for Merry Christmas and on the right hand side for Have a Cup of Cheer. And then I can put both of those on my card. So here I thought the green still needed a little bit more accent. So I'm doing like little stitched lines right over my Copic coloring. And this really gave the scarf the look I was going for. I think it'd be really fun to add white stripes on the red part instead also. All right. So I kept debating, should I give my snowman some pink cheeks and since I kept thinking about it, I decided I would go ahead and color them in with my R20 marker. And then I also brought in a black Copic marker to fill in the hole of that little tag. So you couldn't really tell it was there. All right, so now we're going to put this card front onto the card base that has the rip strip in it. So I'm putting some adhesive all around this because I want to trap a $5 bill in my card so when you pull back the surprise you see the five dollar bill and then you have to use the rip strip to get it out so when you put the adhesive around just make sure you're not covering up the little tiny tab that you're supposed to grab to rip it open and then you'll be fine but you can see i put my five dollar bill in and then a window sheet and now I'm gonna put my card front on top of that window sheet. So I just thought I would put a little bit of liquid glue on top of my double-sided adhesive to give me a little bit of wiggle room so I could get this on straight and I really appreciated that wiggle room. I needed it when doing this. So I'll press that into place and that will secure my card front. And then you can grab the tab and move this up and down and see the surprise on the inside. Now you can do this kind of card without the window sheet, but I just wanted to show you that type of thing because you could just stick like a gift card down to your card base. Now we're gonna create the slimline box that this card will go in. So I'm bringing in the slimline envelope builder. I die cut the largest rectangle with the scallop frame, and then I die cut one without the scallop frame. Now I'm bringing in the build a box and long flap option add-on. So there's two pieces you use for the box, and these two pieces right here are actually to use to make the slimline envelope, but it's an add-on to create different ways to open the envelope. So we're gonna set those aside and die cut two each of these box pieces. And now we can start to put this together. Mine has a window in it, so I need a window sheet to adhere them to. And I'm gonna use some double-sided adhesive to stick down both of my frames to this window sheet. So once I peel that back, I will stick it down to my window sheet and I have a little bit that hangs off and so I can just go ahead and trim that off with some scissors like that and then i'll add the inside frame which is much easier to do when you have that red frame to line it up against and not something that's clear <laughs> so that works out good and i love the look of this with that little snowman card peeking out from inside okay so now i could have been smarter right here i put my um, the piece i want to use to open the box from the slimline envelope builder down a little bit too far for my crocodile. So I had to bring out some old school tools. That's a press punch. And then I'm gonna set an eyelet. Sorry for the camera shaking. I felt like maybe it was no good to do this on top of my glass mat. So I moved it off. And if you get motion sickness, I'm so sorry about this. But I used my old school eyelet tools to set those. It was tons of fun. I hadn't done that in years. And I did it on the flap that's going to be the closure. Now for these middle pieces, the connector pieces, you only want to put adhesive on the two long sides and on one of the smaller flaps. The one with no adhesive will be at the top of your box. You don't need adhesive there. So I'm going to use those to connect the window piece and the back piece of the box. And you can see these are the pieces that give 
it, that box shape versus an envelope shape that doesn't need that extra width on the sides. All right, so now I'm adding one of those pieces to the bottom. And you can see I have adhesive on both sides of that piece where I don't have that on the other one that I used for the top of the box. All right, so now I'm gonna fold over my box front and attach that to this other side of the box. Then I can go ahead and do the bottom pieces. So I'm gonna remove the adhesive from those little side flaps. And then I will remove the last bit of adhesive there. But when I tuck this in, I realized I could see it through the window, so I needed to trim off that rounded edge. And now I'm gonna tuck all that in, press it down. I used my scissors so it could reach down to the bottom and press those little tabs to that flap. All right, so now we'll add the last piece that creates the lid to this box or the opening um, mechanism here. You could tuck it in, but since I added these circles I, and eyelets, I wanted to use some twine as a closure for mine. So let's go ahead and insert my card. There you can see I stamped the inside with the Merry and Bright set. I'll have a picture of that at the end. For some reason, that didn't get recorded. I record on my iPhone, and when I get a phone call, it stops recording, and sometimes I might forget to push record after the phone call. Yeah. All right, so now I have this bunch of bows die set. There are different ways you can build bows. You can have a flat bow or you can have a 3D bow. It's so cute. I'm gonna die cut mine from some patterned paper, this super cute Christmas slimline paper pack. I'm gonna use this red and black plaid piece and I'm gonna die cut this skinnier bow right here, but there is a fatter bow that you could die cut and use in place. You can layer these. It, there's so many options with this die set. So I'm going to curl the bow part of this, put a little liquid glue in the center, hold down one tab, and just hold that in place for a minute. You got to be patient with it. And then you'll do the same thing with the other side and just hold it down. And then there's this tiny little skinny piece that wraps around the center to give the bow a finished look. So this also takes patience. Yeah, it's so skinny and so tiny and you just want to hold it down. You could use like your needle nose pliers, no tweezers to hold that down for you if you want and set it aside and work on something. That's a nice way to to get that done. Now this piece is the tails of the bow. You could have them hanging down versus going side to side like I do. That die creates a scored line in the center of those tails so you can easily fold it. It's so awesome. All right, so I just stuck that down to my box and um, I think it's so fun to have a card that has a surprise hidden money window in it and a chocolate bar inside this box with the window. I think I'm gonna use this for our family Christmas bingo prize this year. We always do more than one prize, but this one could be a little deceiving, like, oh, it's just this cute card that Carrie made. No, it has money and chocolate. It's, I think it's a good prize for something like that or like a work exchange gift. Anyways, I loved making it. It was so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I have new videos all the time and I will be back again very soon with more stamping videos just for you. Happy stamping. Bye.